So after watching my classmates' videos um, and just like listening to like what they had to say, I would think one of the things that I learned the most was um, was people's different views or just like different experiences when it came to COVID-19. I think um, I think this chapter in this book really just like talks about um, like the like the steps during COVID and I think it was really interesting to hear like the different takes on um, uh, that each person had. So um, something that I learned going off of what I said uh, something that I learned from my students initial or like my fellow students initial um, post videos is that we kind of all experienced something a little different I think COVID-19 was probably for some of us the scariest points and it's really scary to say that we lived through a pandemic um, but I think reading the chapter really helped put into perspective of like the public health side and I think that's really important for us as you know going into public health that it's important to know um, that specific type of um, experience so th to be honest some of the issues or ideas that were brought forth by my fellow students did mesh with my own and that's actually really good because then it kind of means that we all had a similar experience. I will say, um, like I mentioned in my video, that um, <clears throat> the pandemic started right around the time that I started my public health undergrad. So it, um, <laughs> it was a, a kind of interesting experience. And I will say that going f all the way straight to from in-person classes to strictly online was such a hard switch and the fact that I was home I think that was one of the hardest too was the fact that I was home with my parents and all of my distractions were here I'm a very um I like to be outside I don't like to be stuck indoors and because of that experience I became a homebody to the point where that's all I wanted to do was just stay at home so I think this book kind of puts into perspective of like, oh my goodness, there's a lot of people, especially people part of the poverty community who, you know, don't have the ability to stay indoors or have the ability to go inside, um, have to stay away from family members that do live inside because they could carry the disease. And that's very scary. And um, I think this pandemic really put a lot of perspective in our minds on what the pan on what COVID nineteen could really do to us.